the boys head. Ten point six. Oh, hey, buddy. When Dim Sim the pug was surrendered to Scar a week ago, he had an ear infection and needed a good oh groom. Goodness, he's shedding so oh my goodness, much. you need a brush, honey. But he certainly had not been going hungry and weighed in at a cuddly 11 kilos. Oh, yeah, it's a little wrong, Polly. Yes, so we're going to take him on and hopefully get him to lose some weight. After one week in foster care on a strict diet, Dim Sim is preparing to face the scales again. You ready? And it's time for Natasha the vet to find out if he shed more than fluff. What are scales? The boy's head. Ten point six. That's amazing. Four hundred grams in a week. That's amazing. That's a huge win for Dim Sim. I am extremely pleased. He is our little biggest loser today. He's definitely done better than I have. But before getting too carried away, Dim Sim has a few more boxes to tick. All right. Hello. Hey, you boy, so you've lost 400 grams. I'm very impressed. Okay, you can just pop hands on him just to yeah. make him feel nice and secure. Okay. Right. With the assistance of foster carer Sabrina, oh, good boy. Natasha is now giving Dim Sim a thorough checkup. So his teeth look really good. Yay! Okay. You've got good teeth. You've got good teeth. His eyes look good. We also had some trouble with his nasal fold. So when you do have these excess skin folds, that skin can't aerate. You've got increased moisture, increased humidity. Provides a perfect breeding ground for these yeast and bacteria. All right, well, let's have a look at the rest of him. Pugs shorten noses and small windpipes also commonly restrict their airways, causing them to wheeze and pant loudly when stressed. I literally cannot hear anything today. All I can literally hear is... <laughs> Trying to listen to Dim Sim's heart is a walk in the park compared to examining his ears. All right, so I'll get you to put a pretty good grip on him. Yeah, OK. All right. All right. Might get Caitlin in here to actually hold him for us. Is that all right? Yeah, cool. All right. Full of character, full of personality, but the pugs can be quite belligerent, actually, when you have to do anything with them. And he's also a master of diversion. <laughs> Yeah, it's the hair. That's what he's going for. Oh, you like hair? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That was your disgusting oh, snot no. in my eye. <laughs> we get sneezed on, snotted on, peed on, pooed on. Anal glands, they're a fun one. Yeah, very glamorous. Um, they are snotty, salivary little things, but you've got to love them. You're all right. Good boy. I know, boy. I know. The good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Ooh, good boy, Dim. Dim Sim is not making it easy. Oh, no, I know, I know. I don't think we're going to get far with this. Dim is the best boy. It seems that Natasha <laughs> is at last getting to grips with Dim Sim. <laughs> cool boy. Well done. Really, really tricky to get to his nasal folds and get a diagnosis and give them a bit of a clean, but let's be honest, who actually likes having their face touched? And Caitlin's quiet tenacity has been rewarded. That's a good boy. That's a boy. Good Such a boy. Such a good boy. With some dogs, obviously, being up high can be a little bit scary for them. Doing it at their level on the floor sometimes can be a lot less stressful for the dog. At last, Dim Sim is free to celebrate his triumphant weight loss.